The coming-of-age teen film is one of my favorite film subgenres. In the 1980s, teen films became very popular and that decade has become known as a golden era for the genre as a whole. To be honest though, a lot of the over-the-top teen sex comedies from that time period just don't hold up very well. Most of the teen films from the 80s that do hold up though, were made by writer and director John Hughes. Hughes redefined teen films by concentrating on characters that you could really relate to on an emotional level. My favorite teen film of his is easily the 1985 movie, The Breakfast Club. I also really enjoy his directorial debut which was a 1984 film, 16 Candles. It is a really solid comedy with relatable characters about a girl turning 16. Her family forgets her birthday though because they are too distracted and busy with her older sister's wedding. Molly Ringwald plays the main character Samantha and she just feels so authentic and real in the role. Sure there are quite a few things within the movie that aren't politically correct and haven't aged well, but that doesn't change the fact that the movie overall is still a really good film with hilarious and dramatic moments that work. So with all that, here is the 1984 movie, 16 Candles, 10 Things You May Not Know. Number 10. Actress Ali Sheedy came close to getting the lead role of Samantha, but John Hughes cast Molly Ringwald in the part. In fact Hughes actually took Ringwald's headshot picture and put it above his desk and wrote the film in one weekend with her already in mind to potentially play the lead. Ali Sheedy would go on to appear in another iconic John Hughes teen movie, The Breakfast Club, co-starring as one of the five leads along with Molly Ringwald. Number 9. The movie's costume designer begged Molly Ringwald not to wear the hat she wore at the beginning of the movie. Ringwald insisted on wearing the hat though, because she felt it fit her character. After the movie was released, teenage girls started wearing their hats tilted back like the way Ringwald had worn hers and it became a youth fashion trend at the time. Number 8. Many actors auditioned for the role of high school freshman geek, Farmer Ted. One of those actors was a young Jim Carrey. Eventually the role went to Anthony Michael Hall. John Hughes already had Hall in mind for the part after working with him on the 1983 movie, National Lampoon's Vacation. Hughes later said that every single kid who came in to read for the part did the whole high school nerd stereotype, such as the thick glasses with ballpoint pens in the pocket and white socks. He said that when Hall auditioned for the part, he played it straight, like a real human being. He said right at that moment was when he knew he had found his geek. Number 7. Molly Ringwald and Anthony Michael Hall initially did not get along with each other, so John Hughes took them to a record store and they bonded after finding out that they were interested in the same music. One of the groups they liked was the Rave Ups, which is the band that Molly scribbled on her character's notebook. Between this movie and The Breakfast Club which they also both starred in, they briefly dated. Number 6. Actor John Cusick plays Bryce, one of Farmer Ted's best buddies throughout the film. His older sister, actress Joan Cusick, also had a small role in the film playing the girl who frequently pops up throughout the movie wearing a huge neck brace. John Cusick ended up being a teen idol going on a star in the 1985 teen cult comedy, Better Off Dead, as well as the 1989 teen film, Say Anything. Number 5. Actor Paul Dooley was offered the role of Samantha's dad based on his performance as another dad character in the 1979 bike racing teen film, Breaking Away. Dooley initially turned the role down though, as he felt the character was just a stock dad character without much substance. John Hughes called Dooley personally and convinced him to take the role after telling him that he wrote a personal scene between Dooley and Ringwald's characters which became an iconic moment in the film. Dooley said later on, fans of the movie would come up to him and tell him that they wished he were their father because of this heartfelt and memorable scene. Number 4. Actor John Kapalos plays the man that Samantha's sister marries. He would go on to appear as Carl the Janitor in another John Hughes teen movie, The Breakfast Club. After that, he also appeared in a small role in the John Hughes sci-fi teen comedy, Weird Science playing one of the patrons sitting at the table during the bar scene. 
Other than Anthony Michael Hall, Capelos was the only actor to appear in all three 1980s teen movies that John Hughes made for Universal. Number 3. Carlin Glenn, who played Samantha's mother Brenda, confronted John Hughes about the fact that the script didn't call for her to apologize for forgetting her daughter's birthday, despite the fact that her character was a good and attentive mother. Hughes agreed and added the scene where Brenda tearfully apologizes to Samantha. In this same scene you can also see Justin Henry playing the younger brother Mike Baker laugh at the fact that the family forgot Samantha's birthday and humorously calling it classic. Although he has a fairly small role, Henry was credited high in the cast, most likely due to starring in the successful 1979 movie, Kramer vs. Kramer, which won Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Number 2. The license plate number on Jake Ryan's car is 21850. This is actually a hidden reference to John Hughes' birth date, February 18, 1950. Coincidentally, February 18 is also Molly Ringwald's birthday, although she was born in 1968, almost exactly 18 years after Hughes. Number 1. The movie ends with a sweet scene where Jake Ryan kisses Samantha over a birthday cake. Despite this short scene being a nice ending, behind the scenes it was actually a nightmare to shoot, because the real cakes they tried to use kept melting. Eventually the crew ended up improvising and used a fake cake made from cardboard. Well that was the 1984 movie, 16 Candles, 10 Things You May Not Know. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe to the Dave Likes Movies channel right here. You can find all my movie reviews and other film-related content there.